Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a get ready with me using some of the BoxyCharm items that we got in this month's box. I also am using a couple items that we got in boxes past. I've got the Pure Bronze and Brighten for my highlight. I've got the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray that's almost gone. So sad. And I'll be playing with the BoxyCharm and Pure palette that we got in this last month's box, as well as the Pretty Vulgar blush that I am super excited about. So, I have already got, obviously, <laughs> my face makeup and my eyebrows on, so let's get started. I am sitting on the floor today. I feel like this is probably where we're going to get the best lighting. I know that I tend to do a lot of my get ready's with me in the mirror over there, but the lighting is just not amazing. So we're going to try it on the floor today. <laughs> so with that being said, I don't have a giant mirror behind me or behind you. So I'll be using the mirrors in these guys and without my glasses it's super hard to see so we'll see how this goes so how is everybody today I hope today finds everybody well I am doing okay it's you know laundry day brush cleaning day yeah I am going into this palette to this perfect right here and just putting that all over my eye. I did use the Milani um, eye primer for my eyeshadow primer today. I find that that primer just is meh for me. I know a lot of people like it because it claims no creasing. It is whatever. It doesn't like affect me either way. I don't find that it creases, but I don't find that it doesn't crease either. I've not noticed a huge spectacular thing about it. So what I have on my face already is my Laura Geller Spackle Primer all over my face. I do have, I did use today the Hard Candy Color Correcting Stick that's in my project pan. I also used my not so favorite uh, foundation, this L'Oreal Infallible Pro. I really feel like this oxidized really, really bad on my face today. I kind of feel like I look orange. Um, I paired it with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Butter CC Cream in Light. I've used this on its own. I know it doesn't oxidize, make my face look orange. So it's got to be that L'Oreal. And this is the eyeshadow primer that I used today. I do like it. It's not bad. But I prefer um, stick eyeshadow primers. So... Um, today I am going to go in with my dual ended Luxie brush that we got in our Ipsy that I got in my Ipsy. Not last month, but the month before, I believe. I haven't used it yet, so we're going to try it. And it is brush cleaning day, so not all of my usual brushes are available. I am going to go into this color here. It is called Nike. And that is going to go into my crease. Today is the last day for one of my partners, so I did go into work with no makeup on. This is a really nice brush. I love this brush. Why haven't I used this yet? I'll tell you why, because it's dual ended, so it can't go in my holder, so it's super hard to remember that I have it. Um, so I went in today with no makeup on and went to say goodbye to her. That's emotional. It was emotional. Um, I always take succulents to my partners that are leaving the company because, like, I have this, like, whole saying that goes along with it that 
you know, succulents are those kind of plants that don't don't need to see you 100% of the time, but you eventually have to remember that they're there and you they are okay with you occasionally paying attention to them. So a succulent doesn't always, you can leave them and you can leave them behind and they're not going to die because you've left them behind. They're still going to be there and they're still going to thrive, but they do miss you and they do want to see you occasionally and that's what we are now to her is these partners that are going to miss her. We don't need, you know, her 100% of the time to continue to grow or thrive, but we will miss her. And that's the whole point of a succulent. But I was able to get it in this, like, um, little, like, hanging ball thing that I thought was really, really cool. And it had, like, all this, like, lavender colored, um, like, I don't know, almost root system, but not underneath it. Kind of like an air plant and a beautiful crystal. And it just, that whole setup reminded me of her. She's like, sometimes like a breath of fresh air. So, and the crystal is because she's a little eccentric sometimes, but perfect all at the same time. It's um, perfectly odd. And unique which is what a crystal is I mean it's perfectly odd and unique so I like this Lexi brush I don't know why I didn't use it yet so now I am going to go in actually with the brushes that came with our boxy charm this last month and they are the vintage cosmetics smoky eye brush set I think I'm gonna use number two step two for the shadow it looks like this it's just the angled shadow brush I think I'm gonna go into this color here and put it just into the crease there and the outer corner I'm really super happy I got to see her and we have pictures taken. One of our regular customers took pictures of all of us. It was kind of funny. We all looked like super silly and I had absolutely no makeup on. So that was the bright spot of the day, I think. Without makeup on and you guys have all seen me without makeup on because, you know, I do these get ready with me's and I have no makeup on typically when I start. So... Um, my skin is super uneven toned, so, and I had nothing on my face. Thing about it is, is I'm super comfortable going places with no makeup on my face, but I don't know, when you see people who normally see you with makeup on your face, it's kind of odd sometimes. This is pretty pigmented. I do like this pink. I have um, played with this palette quite a bit and I do like it a lot. So I'm doing a look today I actually saw on another YouTuber's channel and she made it look just so easy and so pretty. And I tried it the other day and Obviously, it didn't turn out as good as hers, but we're going to try it again. I'm going to go back in with that Lexi brush into that Nike color right there and just blend. So, for those of you that get BoxyCharm, how do you feel about this month's box? I actually am digging it. It was, I think I mentioned in my BoxyCharm unboxing, it was one of the um, least costly boxes that I received. So the, the retail value was probably 
Well, it was less than any other box that we've received that I've received thus far. And, uh, so a lot of people were kind of disappointed with that, but I don't mind it. It was pretty nice. I do like this palette. My daughter gave hers to a friend of hers, but I'm going to go back in with this color and just kind of put it in to the outer and inner corners of my eyes. We're going to do a, uh, a blue halo eye here. So we're just like placing the color. I will say that with this palette as with um, any other pure palette that I've had, the pigmentation is not immediately awesome. You have to like really play with it to get the color, the brightness and the consistency that you want it to be. But I kind of don't mind that with this palette, especially these colors, it's nicer to um, be able to place the color and build it up because like this color is kind of a crazy bright pink color. So it could turn out drastically wrong. <laughs> so there's that. I'm super excited because it's starting to warm up around here. We've started moving into working on the backyard and getting the pool ready and I will be so excited when it's warm enough that we can actually get in the pool because that means it's summer. My leg is falling asleep because I'm here on the floor. I hope that doing it this way you guys can see everything you'll have to, I'm, I'm not as close up so I feel like that's weird, but you'll have to let me know how you guys feel about it because I mean it's all about you guys right whether you can see it or not is is important so now I'm gonna take this Isom brush it's just a little fine brush and I'm gonna go into this really dark color it's called boxy black and it is a really decent black color but it does have some sparkle to it and I'm gonna just kind of put it along the outside of that pink and kind of a little bit into the outer corner just to define it you have to go in really lightly with this color I've noticed because otherwise it gets like it just takes over but I want there to be some kind of defining line difference between the pink and the orange Then just kind of blend that in. And I just took that same Luxie brush that we've been using for the Nike color and just putting it down in there and blending all those colors together. It just defines the eye a little bit better, the different colors. The problem with doing my eyes after my face makeup is down is that if I screw up and have to take everything off, then off comes all of my face makeup too, which is awful. You just want to make sure that you blend it really well. And you might have to go back into that Nike color because that black is going to like take over 
I got way too much on this eye. I'm going to go back in with the pink and just define it. I'll link the channel of the the person who did it. It's so funny because it's a Spanish channel and she I think it's Spanish and she was speaking Spanish the whole time but I watched the whole video because the eye makeup was just amazing and I don't understand Spanish at all but I put in the comments I didn't hardly understand a word but I love this eye makeup so so that's what we're looking like so far so now I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just gonna put some I think I might be close to empty put some on my wrist right there and I'm going to take just a little elf uh, concealer brush and I'm going to dip it into that concealer and cut out the halo eye so when I do a halo eye I do it about the length of my eye This guy has a little pokey on him. That hurt. And then I go just straight across and open my eye. That way I can see where it hits. And then we just spread it out. you guys do this a different way and it works really well for you just continue to use your way let me know how you do it I'd be interested to see if it's any different so that's what I have right now I do this one eye at a time because sometimes if you do not you will make a mess this will dry up. I'm going to just use the other side of that flat shader and go into this blue color here. It is called MIA and I'm just going to place that on that concealer. So there you have it for now. I know it still looks kind of crazy. I am going to do the other eye really quickly. So I take the, I take this color, which is called BFF, and go around the edges of it and the blue to mesh those two colors together. And because it is like a red base, it kind of turns those edges purple, which looks really cool. And then, and then I actually did something that's not on that video and went over the top of that blue with the blue in the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. So this color right here, I just took my finger, went over the top of that blue. So it kind of gives it more of a holographic look and brings a little bit more of a punch. And I went over the edges just to blend it a little bit more. So that's what my eyes look like right now. I just went 
just I'm going to go back into this Nike color, blend the top out a little bit more, and then we'll go from there. Um, I just lightly went into Nike and had the slightest amount of pressure blending into this. And this might be too much color for people, but I... I'm not afraid of color, and you shouldn't be afraid of color either. I don't mind color. I mean, I don't mind the days where I'm wearing just natural makeup either, but you shouldn't be afraid of color. I am blending that black a little bit more on this side. I kind of feel like it got away from me over here. One eye is always, always better. But I feel like it's going to be easier to make this eye look, look like that eye instead of the other way around. All right, so the other thing that she didn't do in the video is she used just this palette, but I like this color right here in the kitten palette that we also got in BoxyCharm in my brow bone. I'm going to put that color right into my brow bone here. Alright guys, I am going to do some contouring with my Kat Von D Shade and Light. Mm, I know that I had some people ask me about contour. I'm not necessarily the best person to learn contour from, but I use these two colors here, kind of mix them, and then just go in right under my cheekbone and kind of into my hairline right there with that color. I don't do a lot because I don't feel like I have to define it, define it a whole lot, but I just take it along right underneath my cheekbone and into my temple in that same area and just go like that and blend it. Um, I also take it along my hairline up here and into um, just kind of down onto my forehead on the outer sections but really placing it into the hairline there. The reason why I do that is because put it into the hairline is because it's if you don't and then along the jawbone. If you don't it looks muddy. It looks like you placed it there instead of blending. So jawbone, cheekbone, forehead. So it should be like a three. Um, three. And then this side would of course be a backwards three. I don't proclaim to be a beauty guru or somebody who knows everything, but I know that I did have some friends that had asked me about it, so there you are. And then take a big, just fluffy brush and make sure everything is blended really well. Sorry guys, I'm using my monitor kind of as a mirror as well. Okay. So now that that's all blended, 
I got that done. Now I'm going to take my blush and I'm going to use the Pretty Vulgar blush and this is in Hush. Hush blush, I believe. Yeah. I'm going to take my blush brush and dip into that. And then I wear, this is another thing that y'all probably laugh at me for, but I don't go clear down onto the apples of my cheeks for my blush because my face is so long and when I put the apples when I do the apples of my cheeks, it makes my face look a lot more round than I like it to look. So I go temple and down onto my cheek just a little bit, but I blend that really well up into the hairline again. So it kind of looks like I've been sun kissed from, you know, the side, not just bam, bam, blush. And I like it this way. I think that it looks better on my face. I like this blush. It is pretty subtle, but really pretty. That black on my eye is going to drive me nuts. I kind of wish I had not placed it at this point in time. I'm pretty sure she uses black, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's why this eye look never seems to turn out for me very well. <laughs> this is the third time I've tried it. The second time it turned out a little bit better than the first, so will not lie, but um, now I'm going to go into my pure, the pure bronze and brighten palette that we got in a boxy charm. I'm going to use the highlighter here. I do find that this is one of my favorite highlighters, but I just take it on my finger. and place it then I go in with that same brush that I blended everything with and blend it I love this highlight I think it is so pretty unconventional makeup application there we go highlight uh, then I take a little brush this is an eye brush it's a domed shadow brush from Moda and go into that highlight again I will go down my nose Nose highlight always tweaks me out because I feel like I get too much. And if you get too much, then your nose looks huge. Okay guys, now I'm gonna finish off the eyes. I'm going to use, we received this in our BoxyCharm, not this last month I don't think, but the month before, this Vintage Cosmetic Smoky Eye Pencil is black. Hopefully it'll make that black um, blend in, but I'm just going to take it under my eye into my waterline. Pause. All right, once that is on, I take my e.l.f. smudger brush, just smudger, and I smudge out that hard line this isn't my favorite eyeliner if I'm being honest but I think it worked out okay then I take my eco tools flat eyeliner brush looks like this and I am going to dip into this color and this color and then just put it into that lower lash line
I am going to pop off real quick, get some eyeliner on and mascara, and then I will be right back. Alrighty, I went off camera and I did my eyeliner and my mascara. I am wearing Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner in Serum as my eyeliner today, which I didn't like in the beginning, but I actually love it now. And I am wearing as my mascara, I'm wearing Maybelline Total Temptation. And this tube is a damn mess, but I really dig this mascara. It's pretty, pretty, and my eyelashes look amazing with it. I still, my favorite is still Tarte Lash Paint, but um, on top of that, I am using Ulta Beauty's Maximum Lashes. It's a defining mascara. It is in my project pan. This is a pretty fantastic mascara, and I think you can get it for like eight bucks or something so I am going to typically I do this first before I put on my eyeliner and mascara so we'll see if this runs I am going to set my face with the cover effects illuminating setting spray this has become my favorite setting spray and we got it from boxycharm so I really like this setting spray and I think I like it a lot because it helps illuminate my face. I use a matte formula foundation, so this helps my foundation to look more dewy on my face. I am going to use my Urban Decay Vice Lipstick Palette, and we are going to put on, in the spirit of these crazy colors, we are going to put on this purple right here called Speedball topped with this pink right here called Big Bang. That's what we're going to do. So here we go. I read something Raw Beauty Christy posted. She posted pictures with it and said the more um, pointed and defined your cupid's bow, the older you look. And there were pictures attached to it, and I find that to be true. When I define my cupid's bow as much as it could be defined, I find that it looks older. I look older. So for you mature women out there, like me, quit defining that cupid's bow. I used to get all cut up in it when you mesh your lips together. All that cupid bow stuff goes away. And it's kind of okay. I'm just putting this lighter Big Bang color into the center of my lips on both top and bottom. That way it gives a little bit of dimension to my lips and it makes them look fuller. Okay, I think it came together, y'all. Like, that black, I'm not, like, super fond of, to be honest. And every time I do this, I look, I'm not super fond of that black. But, mm, I think it turned out okay. Let me know what you guys think of it. I'm super excited that you were here sharing your moments with me today. I know that you don't have to, so it warms my heart so much that you choose to. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and I hope that you'll want to subscribe on your way out. I'd love to have you as a part of my YouTube family here and see you in the comments. Let me know if you guys have any pointers. Uh, somebody in a previous video gave me a pointer, gave me pointers on how to have better lighting. I do feel like we had better lighting today. Granted, I'm down on the floor, but I also have some of the windows covered like she suggested. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like 
like this format and me sitting on the floor and just kind of having fun with you. I can't hardly see because <laughs> I don't have my glasses on and I kind of need to be able to see to put on makeup, but I think we did okay. I really do. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye guys.